Okay, welcome back. Um, I'm now on question number eight from this June, October 2020 P4 International A-Level Edexcel paper. And this question is about vectors. It tells us relative to a fixed origin O, the lines L1 and L2 are given by the equations L1 R equals 4 minus 3, 2 plus lambda 3 minus 2 minus 1, where lambda is a scalar parameter, and line 2 R equals 2, 0 minus 9 plus mu 2 minus 1 minus 3, where mu is a scalar parameter. Given that line 1 and line 2 meet at the point x, find the position vector of x. Okay, so this is a vector equation of a straight of the straight lines of these two straight lines here and they will intersect when they both um, give us the same point so we've got to find a value of lambda and the value of mu at which they intersect now we know that they definitely do intersect because the question tells us that they do intersect okay so all we have to do is find the value of lambda and mu from these equations we don't have to prove that they intersect because we're told that they do okay so we find the value of lambda and mu for which they give us the same position and then we can find that position by substituting that value of lambda in here or that value of mu in line two so let's first equate the two together so you have four minus three two plus lambda three minus two minus one so four minus three two plus lambda times 3 um, minus 2 minus 1. Yep, yeah. and that's equal to, we're going to find when it, they give you the same position, 2, 0, minus 9, plus mu times 2, minus 1, and minus 3. Okay, so... I'm going to from this form three equations, one for the i component, one for the j component, and one from the k component. So 4 plus 3 lambda is equal to 2 plus 2 mu. And I've got minus 3 minus 2 lambda is equal to 0 minus mu. So this is like just minus mu. And then I've got um, 2 minus lambda equals minus 9 minus 3 mu. Okay, so what I can do from here is I can just simplify them slightly. Um, in fact, I can just leave this, it's fine. I can take this and I can say that that means mu is equal to 3 plus 2 lambda. Okay, I can take this and just say mu is equal to 3 plus 2 lambda, multiply both sides by minus 1, and then I can take that value of mu and substitute it into one of these two equations. Um, let's take the first equation, so we can say mu equals 3 plus 2 lambda, and this is equation 1, 2, and 3. I can put it into equation 1, in which case I'll have 4 plus 3 lambda equals 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 2 lambda and I can then simplify this 3 plus 4 plus 3 lambda sorry equals 2 plus 6 plus 4 lambda and I can bring the lambdas on one side so I'm going to have 4 and minus 8 that's going to be 8 so I have 4 minus 8 equals lambda so lambda equals negative 4 now for sure I know they intersect so I don't have to find what mu is even okay I could find what mu is if I want to and I'm going to do it just to check. So I have 3 um, plus 2 times minus 4. So mu is equal to 3 minus 8, which is minus 5. Okay, so if I put lambda equals minus 4 into the equation for 1. So if I check, if I say r equals equation 1, if you remember rightly, it was 4 minus 3, 2. plus lambda times the direction part was 3 minus 2 minus 1. And if I put lambda equals minus 4 into here, it should give me the position vector of x. So lambda equals minus 4 at x. So r equals 4 minus 3, 2. I'm going to have minus 4 times 3 minus 2 minus 1. So we can say our 
the position vector is going to be you're going to have 4 minus 12 which is minus 8 minus 3 plus 8 uh, which is 5 and 2 plus 4 which is 6 so that's the position vector of x and they asked us to find the position vector of x that's right so that's the position vector of x okay um, we can check we can check that it works for line 2 where r equals um, 2 0 minus 9 2 0 minus 9 plus mu times and you're going to have uh, 2 minus 1 minus 3 2 minus 1 minus 3 so we know that mu is equal to minus 5 at x so we can say r is equal to um, 2 0 minus 9 minus 5 times 2 minus 1 minus 3 and it should give us exactly the same coordinates Let's see what happens. You're going to have 2 minus 5 times 2. 2 minus 10 is minus 8. You're going to have 0 minus 5 times minus 1, which is plus 5. And you're going to have minus 1, minus 9. And you're going to have um, plus 15. Minus 9 plus 15 is 6. So you see that they gave us the same point. So you didn't actually have to use both values. I didn't have to find mu. Um, I just needed to find one of them. Okay, because we know that they do definitely intersect. It's not like they told us to prove that they intersect. They told us they intersect. So once I found what lambda is, I can go straight away and find what the position vector of x is. Okay, but as a check in case, especially if you have time, you can find what mu is and then substitute it into line two just to check it gives you the same value. So it's kind of a way to check that you haven't made a silly mistake somewhere. Okay, once you've done that and you see they both give you the same value, you can be sure that you've done the right thing. So that's the answer for part A. Um, we found the position vector of X. Now we've got to do part B. And it says the point P10 minus 7, 0 lies on line 1. And the point Q lies on line 2. The, given that PQ is per perpendicular to line 2, calculate the coordinates of Q. Okay, so we got our line 1. So it's always good to make a little sketch in these type of questions. So we got our line 1 and we got our line 2. I'm just going to draw them randomly. We've got to say this is our line 1 and this is our line 2. It says the point P lies on line 1. Okay, so let's say P lies over here. And Q lies on line 2 such that P to Q is perpendicular to line 2. So I'll say Q lies over here on line 2. Uh, I've done it the wrong way around. P lies on line 1. And Q lies on line 2. Okay. And P to Q is perpendicular to line 2. So the line, the, the, the line from P to Q is perpendicular. So let me draw it like that. Put my P over here. That's better. Okay. So P, Q is perpendicular to line 2. So that's a right angle here. Okay. So we don't know the coordinates of Q. So the position vector I'm going to call X, Y, Z. For P, I know the position vector is 10, minus 7, and 0. That's on line 1. Um, we've got to calculate the coordinates of Q. So we know two things about Q. We know two things about Q. For Q, we know that Q lies on line 2. Okay, Q lies on line 2. And line 2 has this equation. So what I can say, I can just bring this down here so I can see what's going on. What I can say from this is that that means the coordinates of Q, which is x, y, z, satisfy uh, this equation. So this 2, 0, minus 9 plus mu times 2 minus 1 minus 3 is going to give us the coordinates of x, y, and z for sure. There's going to be a value of mu for which this will give you the coordinates of q. Okay, because um, q lies on line 2. So definitely there will be a value of mu which will take us to this point which we call x, y, and z. 
All right. So from this, I can extract three equations. Um, I can say 2 plus 2 mu is equal to x. I can say 0 minus mu is equal to y. And I can say minus 9 minus 3 mu is equal to z. So I have three equations extracted from this fact. Now, the second piece of information they told us is that PQ is perpendicular to line 2. So P to Q, let me just say O is over here. So we got our O over there. So we got that's O to P and that's O to Q. I need to find the vector P to Q. Now P to Q is equal to minus O to P plus O to Q. So it's like O to Q minus O to P. Okay, so it's a position vector of Q, which we know as X, Y, Z. Minus the position vector of P, which they told us is 10 minus 7 and 0. Okay, because if that's the point P, P then that's the, you know, the coordinates with respect to the origin. So the vector, the position vector of P will be 10 minus 7, 0. So this gives me um, x minus 10 and y plus 7 and z in the denominator. So this is the vector from P to Q. So I know that um, the second thing I know that is, as we said, the vector P to Q is perpendicular to line 2. Okay, P to Q is perpendicular to line 2. So we know that the the direction of line 2 is given by the vector 2 minus 1 minus 3. 2 minus 1 minus 3 is the direction of line 2. So I know that the dot product of PQ, now P to Q we already found, as X minus 10, Y plus 7 and Z. So X minus 10, Y plus 7 and Z. Yeah, but I'll write it neater down here. You have x minus 10, y plus 7, and z. The dot product of this with p to q with a line 2, which is 2 minus 1 and minus 3, is going to be 0, okay, because they are perpendicular. Okay, so as they're perpendicular, the dot product is going to be 0. The scalar product will equal 0. So from this, I can make another equation. I have 2 times x minus 1. Uh, sorry, x minus 10. And I'm going to have plus minus 1 times y plus 7. So that's minus uh, y plus 7. Plus 7. Make that clear. I'm going to have minus 3 times z plus minus 3 times z, which is minus 3z, has to equal 0. That's the dot product. This times this plus that times that plus that times that. Okay, so this gives me um, 2x minus 20 minus y minus, minus 7 minus 3z equals 0. So this gives me basically... 2x minus y minus 3z equals 27. Okay, minus 27, it gives you plus 27 on that side. So now I have two um, sets of information. I've got these equations here. Okay, these equations here. And I've got this over here, which I can now solve simultaneously. So let me do that on the next page. Okay, so now we have these two equations here, which I need to solve um, simultaneously. Okay, so what I can do is I can replace the x with 2 plus 2 mu. So I have 2 times, whoops, what happened there? I have 2 times, I'm going to have 2 plus 2 mu, um, minus and place the y with minus mu so minus mu in here and minus 3 times z which is minus 9 minus 3 mu 3 times z 
getting all American there. All right, now I'm going to multiply. This is 4 plus 4 mu plus mu. That's going to give you plus 27 and plus 9 mu equals 27. So we can gather together the like terms. Um, well, the 27, they'll, if you take the 27 on the other side here, you're going to have to subtract it. So that becomes zero on this side. So we've got 4 mu plus mu plus 9 mu. That's going to be um, 14 mu. 14 mu. Um, that's right. That's 5 plus 9. That's right. 14 mu plus 4 is equal to zero. So 14 mu equals minus 4. So mu equals minus 1 over, minus 4 over 14, uh, which is minus 2 over 7. So mu is equal to minus 2 over 7. So the question actually asked us to do what? Calculate the coordinates of Q. So we know that Q lies on um, the line P, line L2. So I'm going to take this with me to the other side. And we know that basically when I put mu as minus 2 over 7, we will find the coordinates of the point Q. So the point Q is when mu equals, oops, that didn't come across. Let's copy this and paste it on this side. So we're going to have, basically, we know that line two is where Q lies on. So Q is on line 2 when mu is equal to minus 2 over 7. Okay, so to find the position vector or the coordinates of Q, we need to um, put mu equals minus 2 over 7 in the equation of line 2. So R is equal to 2, 0, minus 9. Um, and you're going to have plus mu, so that's minus 2 over 7 times 2 minus 1 and minus 3. So that's going to give me 2 minus 4 over 7 as my um, I component, and 0 plus 2 over 7 as my J component, and oops, and my Z component is going to be, let me just fix that up a bit, it's 2 minus 4 over 7, and my z component is going to be minus 9 uh, plus, that's going to be 6 over 7. Okay, so let's work out what this is going to give us. You're going to have, um, that's 14 over 7 minus 4 over 7, which is 10 over 7. And you're going to have 2 over 7, and you're going to have minus 9 plus 6 over 7. So minus 9 is, that's minus 63 over 7 plus 6 over 7. So minus 63 plus 9. I think that's minus 57. Just make sure. Minus 63 plus 9. So minus 63 um, plus 6, sorry, plus 6. Gives you minus 57 over 7. Okay, so that's the vector from O to Q. Okay, therefore the coordinates of Q are 10 over 7 and 2 over 7 and minus 57 over 7. Those are the coordinates of Q. That's what they asked for, right? Calculate the coordinates of Q, yes. So if they said find the position vector of Q, we would have left the answer like this, but they asked us to find the coordinates. So there is our final answer, the coordinates of Q. And that's the end of this question. Um, other questions on vectors can be found by clicking on this um, playlist over here. Other questions which are to do with um, the questions on this paper, other questions on this paper can be found by clicking on the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking over here. And on the top of the screen here, you will find um, a link to other papers to do with P4. Thank you for watching and See you soon.